Hi everyone, this is Nene Terry from Baylor's Buzz, and I'm here with another local artist in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm going to give him the opportunity to introduce himself. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Uh, your boy Rico Swain, straight out of 919. You know what to do. Um, yeah, I'm here. So you rap? Yeah. Is that the only thing you do? MC. No, I'm very talented. I like to make people laugh. I, I, I think I could be a comedian. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So do you write your own music? Do you have a writer who does that for you? Uh, no, nah, if I did, I'd probably be making millions if I had a writer. But yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, yeah, I write my own music. Everything's done, you know, Stacks a Million, Tooch, Sound Right. They do all the produ you know, production on it and everything, so. All right, so if you weren't rapping or emceeing, what would you be doing? Um, I don't know. I'm a real techie person. I like a lot of gadgets. So, yeah, I'd probably be. Uh, what kind of phone you have? Uh, iPhone, of course. Which one? The 5. What, really? Yes. Why would you do that? Not anything but the 5. Do you have a MacBook? Uh, yes, I do. iPod? Yes, I do. iPad? Yes, I do. All right. It's even on my watch. Tell them holler at me. <laughs> So you got all the Apple products. You really take it, do huh? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So, who was your musical inspirations? Um, of course, Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? That's the king, man. Gotta give it up to Mike. Work for it. Like when you make it big and you don't want to six apart, shouting out Nene Terry and Baylu's Buzz yes, and sir. Sound Right. <laughs> <laughs> who? What artists would you most like to work with? Work with? Um, all of them. You know, of course, Jay is an icon. Jay Z. Um, Nas is one of my favorites. He's one of my favorites. I got to shout him out. Um, all of them, all of them. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't limit. You know, I don't limit boundaries because you never know. Because I mean, two things that you think that might not mix might right. have a great mix on it. You know what I mean? That's so all the true. people that you might not think you work well with because their music is, you know doesn't apply to you or your lifestyle, you might make a hit record with them and it might mm -hmm. be super super hot. So yeah, everybody. <laughs> That's good. So, uh, what does your family do to support you? Um, basically, you know, they, they promote me. They promote me. You know, family, friends, they all promote me. They all love my music, so it's not like I have to convince somebody to, you know, uh, like my music. You know, some people, you know, you got to convince. You're like, hey, and then you get dudes playing your record in the car, and they're like, hey, listen to this, listen to this. They're like, oh, that's hot. No, like, my people really love my music, and so they support me 100%. What makes your music different from other ones in the 919? Uh, it's my life. My life. Not every day I'm twisting wigs back or doing none of that <laughs> stuff. or You know what I'm saying? Doing all the rest of that crazy stuff, man. Yeah. Not every day I rap about everyday life, you know, majority of the time. Or what I feel, because it's entertainment at the end of the day. It is. So That's I have true. inner thoughts that need to be put on paper and put on record. So does your your fan base, who do you, you know, mainly cater to? Like, who's your audience? Um... Regular people, I guess. Regular people, regular people. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. Do do your music? Are your music most like club bangers, or is something that you can ride down I ninety five all the way to Florida listening to? Uh, it's got to be both. It's got to be both. I got club bangers, um, gangster records. I got all of that. You know what I mean? Because I experienced a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So I've you know I've been everywhere. I've lived overseas before. Really? Um, shout out to Guam six seven one. You know what it is? Island boy. Uh huh. That's boys. where you're from? Yeah. Guam. Yeah. What language do they speak over there? Chamorro. What? Chamorro. Say C something H in that language. Hafa a day. What does that mean? Hello. All that? Yeah. <laughs> I'd just say hello. We are, we are true islanders. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of words. That's a All mouthful. All my b-boys know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do the people over there listen to your music? You sending yeah. it over there? Yeah, they support me. And you can find your stuff on iTunes, right? Yep, iTunes, Rico Swain. All you got to do is type Rico Swain. I'm on there. Um, got a couple of good, feel good songs, you know, got to show you what it's like. That's about the shorties. You know what it is. What's your motto? Uh, I, have, I have tons of mottos. Give me one. Or two. So one of my mottos is the ones that you see laugh the most probably experience the most pain. You know what I mean? So the ones who laugh a lot probably experience the most pain. Yeah, and that's it, true. Yeah, and, and another motto that I live by is... Um, all the darkness in the world cannot extinguish the light of a single candle. Can you say that again a little bit slower? All the darkness in the world cannot extinguish the light of a single candle. That one kind of stuck with me only because, I mean, I really thought about it if the whole world went pitch black and I had a lighter and I looked the lighter. People could see that flame from miles away. No matter what, I'm going to shine no matter what. So. Aww. It's like another one of my mottos, you know, is uh, a song is like, to me, and this is to me, a song is an emotion trapped in time. So whenever 
whenever you get like um whenever you have a song and you feel happy, you play a happy song. Whenever you yes, sad, you play a sad song. You heartbroken, you li- you might listen to Jagged Edge or somebody like that, one twelve. Or Keisha Cole. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I mean it's it's real it's real heartfelt. What do you think your kids are gonna see you as, like if you know, in the media? Uh I try to I, I try to keep it proper. I mean, of course, you can't shield you know children from everything. Right. You know what I mean? Because my mother couldn't shield me from everything. Um, but I hope they see that I worked hard and mm-hmm. I was you know at least I tried to expose my talent. You know what I mean? And go for what I want without anybody telling me anything else. So you're not afraid of of how the media may portray you? I wouldn't say afraid. I may be angry, but I'm not afraid. You know what I mean? I may be angry, right. but not afraid. But I mean, if you keep a if you keep a solid foundation, if you keep concrete to build your house on, can't nobody blow it down. You feel what I'm saying? Amen. <laughs> you are a man of words. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is gonna be my last question. It's gonna you know we're gonna keep on that same flow with the children. Um, what words of inspiration can you offer to today's youth, especially your kids? Especially my kids. React with your heart, but think with your mind. Can you elaborate? Always. So, I mean, you react with your heart because your heart has always, you know, your heart will never steer you wrong no matter what. But also be smart about the decisions that you make. You know what I mean? Because your heart might have a direction. You might not know where to go, know how to get there. You know where to go, but you don't know how to get there. Well, your brain is going to tell you how to get there. So be smart. The less mistakes you make, the easier it is. All right. Anything else you want to say to the kids? Um, I love the kids. I would like to, you know what I'm saying, First of all, I would like to thank God, first and foremost, for everything. For me breathing, you know what I mean? For my kids, I love all my children. Um, for just me being here, you know what I mean? I'd like to give a shout out, uh, Real Talk, Sound Right, of course. My State, Def Jam, Island Def Jam. Um, shout out Small World 919, shout out Wally G, shout out VBG, uh, Verbal Van Gogh. You can check all them out on Twitter, too. Check me out on Twitter, Rico Swain, Facebook, all of that. Y'all know what it is. Everything's at Rico Swain, everything Rico Swain. Um, yeah, shout out to Bay's Entertainment. Shout out to Bay Lou's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> for those of us who, well, not us because I can, but for those who cannot correctly spell, because you know a lot of people can't spell these days. You've seen those Twitter updates uh, yeah, right. and Facebook statuses. Spell your name for them. Uh, R-I-C-O-S-W-A-I-N. Real Rico name, Swain. Swain. No gimmicks. It's my government name, not Ricardo, not Richard, not none of that. Birth certificate name says Rico. So in case, it, I mean, because I've seen a lot of Rico Swains out there and their names are like Richard or, You're right. you know what I mean, or something else. I don't know why everybody wants to be a Rico. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, I, hey, it's, my, my real name is Rico Swain. And you can check me out. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Bay Loose Buzz. And it's Nene Terry and Rico Swain signing out. Do you think, mommy? It's for my pretty girls who know that they're your dime piece. Okay, we independent and they sign on their own lease. Uh-huh. Real hair, real nails, do your thing, mama. Do your thing, mama. Never mind with them haters, this is certain drama. Uh-uh. You ain't like all the mother girls, you do you. Yeah. The type to spend time on yourself, you stay true. Uh-huh. Never tripping on the small things you think big. Okay. And never question on what she said, what he did. Nope. You make your own answers yeah. and make your own moves. Yeah. Cause on the inside, you strong and you beautiful. So-